Hey Taurus, welcome. This is your monthly March love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, you know it's been a while since I've been doing this, but I have finally been integrating a lot. So let's take a look. What is going on for Taurus in love? Let's take a look. What is going on with you guys? If you are, I am reading for just Taurus, okay? So if you are a cross watcher, you know, you know, take the messages anyways. It is a general reading. If you guys want to work with me, uh, take a look at all my services down below. Feel free to send me an email. Please don't tell me your life story. I don't read over email, okay? But if you do feel pulled to my energy and to your readings and whatever content I have on my channel, feel free to email me and I do coaching sessions. And uh, if you want to know more about that, take a look. And I have a membership, which I'm building a mystery school. Anyways, let's get started. Taurus, Sun, Moon, rising venus and we're going to look at north node remember guys north node is a very important okay your north node tells you the direction that you're moving in mine is libra so mine's all about relationships it's been like that my whole life let's see mind space head space action and outcome for taurus wow taurus you got some changes going on this month let's take a look yeah spirit is really pushing you into your happiness we have happy happy so spirit is really pushing you into your happiness in your heart you're feeling this change that's starting to come so if you have been getting signs spirit is really saying pay attention pay attention to the signs we're going to also take a look at like any karmic energies too that you're healing karma is very important karma is not bad karma is just things that we need to learn i feel that's what's happening here your karmic situations are shifting in this month taurus what we're seeing here is like you are walking away from things that no longer serve you've gained the confidence this month taurus to really seek your tribe to seek your people to know where you're going you're really focused on your happiness and you're okay with whatever changes are coming into your life you have finally come into a place of surrender taurus which what i'm seeing which is really beautiful let's take a look at some tarot and then i'm going to also do the uh whew, what are these the kipper deck and the island time this is my deck they're not for sale yet I'm still working on shifting things on my website um before i sell my decks but this is my creation let's take a look here what is going on for taurus sun moon and rising thank you spirit we are going to be taking from the bottom and the top to clarify so let's take a look we got nine of swords in reverse the moon in reverse judgment in reverse nine of wands in reverse well, let's move let's move these babies up let's move these babies up you guys can see that all right clarified by the top we have six of cups all right we have heart space getting over fear four of cups we have judgment which is ten of pentacles in reverse and the page of cups what i'm seeing here right now for you taurus you're really focusing on ending your pain okay you may have had to go back into the past looking at past patterns looking at love relationships and really trying to heal this in your life you are recognizing the patterns that you've been going through now this could also mean that somebody is coming back for some of you from the past. If that's what you desire, remember, um, if both people grow and people come back into this connection, it's, it's, it's fine. But remember, you are doing the work. You're focusing on your happiness. So make sure that this change, when you, you're overcoming your change, you're coming out of a place of apathy of the hard work that you've put in, Taurus. I feel that if somebody does come back, you've got to set some healthy boundaries here. Spirit is also saying... As you're walking away from things that no longer serve you, what's happening here is uh, you're not getting a renewal of spirit of what's been going on for you. And um, I love how the Twin Flame Crystal just decided to just stay on that. So there may be a change for some of you that are in a divine counterpart situation. But you're walking away because there's no renewal and so you're ending old family patterns is what I'm seeing here and you're ending old ways of being which is beautiful. You are persevering through the emotional imbalance of maybe people around you um, in regards to and finding your real people, right? These, these weren't your real people or something about this situation wasn't healthy for you and so you were really focusing i love this card because i feel this is you taurus really coming into a place of yes i want this happiness and i'm just gonna strive for that 
So let's take a look and see what else is going on here for Taurus. Okay, what else is going on for Taurus? Oops, I'm not taking that one. I need to cut it. What's going on for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. Thank you. Let's take a look. And remember, guys, take a look at all the other readings that I have to just get a bigger picture of what's going on in your story and take what resonates, okay? What is going on? Okay, we got first card flew right out. It, that's the one that popped out, guys, if you saw that. So sudden wealth. There's a massive amount of abundance. An 11, this is an 8. 8 and 11. 8 is abundance. 11 is a master number, so really beautiful. Uh, a lot of abundance coming towards you here. What about the heart space fair? A lot of uh, sudden uh, abundance because you have done the healing work, Taurus, okay? We have here, you're getting a new pathway and a new journey that's coming up. An 8 and a 10, which is an 8 and a 1. 8 and 11, okay? You've got some synchronicities and numbers here, so if you're seeing these numbers, it's for a reason, okay? So new path opening up. You're feeling it. Spirit is encouraging you to walk that path, that path of the unknown. Time to go. You're walking towards your marriage, okay? So you're moving towards a greater commitment. Whatever you're leaving in the old vibration that you're leaving behind, you're moving to something that's going to end in long-term commitment. We also have, and oh, look at this. You're persevering through through people and try people and people around you that have kept you in prison for quite a long time. That's also an 11 and a 9. I can't make that up, you guys. Look, 8 and 11s, 11s and 8s. 8s are abundance. 11 is master number. Look them up, Okay. Go take a look at them. This is a nine and a three. So you've got like nine and three is a very significant. Look at uh, Nikola Tesla manifestations with three, six and nines. Okay, um, that's prominent. And eight and 11 and eight and 11. Again, very synchronistic reading here, Taurus. Not going to lie. Really beautiful. Let's take a look and we're going to clarify. And we're going to also look at karmic energy as well. Okay, and then some healing messages at the end. Let's take a look here and see what other... Energies are coming through for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and a Venus, Spirit, and the North Node. This is for Taurus. Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and the North Node in Taurus. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Not wanting to pick up. All right, let's take a look. What is going on here for Headspace? Headspace. You're healing. See, that's exactly it. You've been taking the time for you, Taurus. You know that you've needed to heal. You're focused on your happiness. You're getting out of your pain. You're, you're looking back at the past. And, and yeah, yeah, you are ascending here uh, onto a new pathway. Beautiful. You are on the ascension journey here, Taurus. Beautiful. Uh, change and win, getting over your fears, knowing that you're coming out of a place of complacency. Look at that. You're, what did I say? Twin flame photograph of the past. You're looking at the past. <laughs> this is beautiful, Taurus. I can't believe the synchronicities here. Um, yeah, so this is really a big shift for you. Marriage, uh, you walking away, you ending old family patterns, you ending a certain commitment could be that you've ended a relationship, a karmic situation yourself. We're going to look at karmic energies as well, but you're looking at the past and you know that if you walk away and you choose self and you continuously to heal yourself, you are now moving into, you're walking towards marriage, okay? You're walking towards something um, very prominent here. We have here, uh, whoops, <coughs> commitment and um, sorry, not commitment. Um, I'm saying commitment over here, but uh, community and imprisonment, persevering through emotional bounds. You're really getting um, serious about who has your best interest at heart here. And you're cutting people out. Yep, look at this. You're making those healthy choices. Beautiful. Beautiful synchronicities for us. Let's clarify a little bit more, okay? So Spirit is saying here in the mind space, okay? You're really changing those mind patterns. You're ending pain. You're looking at the past, how you may have thought in the past. You're healing those ways of thinking. You're really putting in a lot of this work. And because of that, Spirit is bringing you massive abundance in March, okay? Um, you're closing off illusions and confusions, okay? You've been dealing with this energy, the Five of Cups and the Devil. You've been dealing with this from the past. A lot of regret, a lot of uh, dreams ending, things that you may have thought, that were going to happen. Um, you're ending that. You're looking at the past of, let's clarify the Five of Cups and the Devil. You're looking at the past of this. Yeah, look at this. You're ending that cycle, the world, okay? So you are definitely ending this cycle in your life. And that's why Spirit is saying, as March approaches, 
throughout March, you know, you're going to get this abundance because you have been taking this time to heal the mind patterns, okay? You're getting over your fears in the heart. Look at this. Ending separation, but also coming out of a place of healing, out of complacency, moving on to your path, accepting the change in your heart, ascending, okay? You're getting more into that feeling place, and that's what I teach, guys. I teach you how to get back into your empathic abilities, trusting your imagination, trusting your intuitive feelings, trusting your energy, trusting visions, trusting those intuitive hits. That's what it's about. Um, people are too stuck in, in this mind, but you, Taurus, have been doing that. You are you have had abandonment here. You've been healing this. You're still going through maybe some financial stuff in March. Um, but you're seeing the path. You're seeing the way being lit here, Taurus, okay? Four of Wands. You've been abandoned out of foundation um, healing this. But Four of Wands is also not just about union. And it's about um, coming to uh, an ending of finally, like, crossing the finish line, entering a new state of being. And that's what's happening here, there, okay? It's like, you know, people plan, the people call it the 1111 card, which if I get pulled to say that I do, you do have the Twin Flame card here. But this is also about, you know, when people plan for a marriage or a wedding, that takes time to get to that point. There's a lot of, you know, um, planning and organizing and all of that stuff. But when the wedding day comes, which is the Four of Wands, it's like you're right at the end. You're ready to seal the deal. So this abandonment stuff that I clarified, you're about to seal the deal on that and come out of that. You're ascending out of that heart space where you have abandoned yourself. No more. This passion is coming because here in this um, action oriented space, judgment in reverse, um, you are having doubts, but you've made the decision to see past the doubts. Wow. Where you've been stuck. You've put your foot down and you're like, no, I, this is what's keeping me stuck. My doubts are keeping me stuck. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm coughing because I feel like there's like maybe communication. It's not <coughs> coming through right now as soon as I pull this card, eight of wands. Somebody wants to communicate. Somebody, there is communication that wants to come in, but it's not quite there yet because there's still certain, yeah, it's still stuck. So something is still stuck, but this walking away into the new vibration, there's definitely something that's coming. Look at this. Quickly moving towards a relationship and a union, okay? So something is definitely shifting, Taurus, if you have been feeling that, okay? You're persevering through anything that's emotionally imbalanced. You're seeing clearly now. You're not at a crossroads. Two of swords in reverse. You're completely aware of like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not cool. This is like whatever is happening here. I'm seeing exactly what's happening with people in my life, with the community, with whoever I'm hanging out with. Uh, they're keeping me trapped. And Taurus, you're like, I'm done with that. I am completely done with that. So really great movement forward. You're not giving any more to situations that are keeping you completely stuck. So I'm just checking the time to see where we're at. Yeah, so that's amazing. I'm going to clarify one more here about not giving in to this. Yeah, you want to win victory and success. You're slowly moving towards your success. Slowly moving towards your success. Wow. All right, let's take a look at the karma. Let's take a look at the karma. Also, at the end of this reading, Taurus, make sure you stay to the end. I'm going to do a pick a card. So think of your question now. I'm going to pick three cards. You can pick yes. It's going to be yes or no answer. You can think of three questions in the meantime um, and for each card. Or you can think of one question and pick one of the cards. So we're going to do that right at the end. But let's take a look at your karmic situations that have been oops dropped a card um car any karmic situations that you've been dealing with so let's see what karma that taurus is healing in the month of march we're gonna do the same setup so i'm gonna use the same cards so let's take a look let's take a look at this card keeps falling down this nine of swords you're really ending you're really ending a lot of uh old patterns here Taurus a lot of old patterns here okay so let's take a look here what is going on for Taurus's karmic situation any karma that needs to be healed in karma you guys it can be uh anything it can be a person can be a job can be money can be uh people it can be your living situation um it can be old mind patterns it can be emotional patterns karma is all kinds of different things 
Karma is not debt. Okay, karma is just simply law. Of, what is the going on here? Simply law of attraction. Obviously, I'm supposed to talk about this. Um, is simply law of attraction that you haven't been able to fully complete yet. Okay, um, to heal within yourself or to move towards a new direction or to close out certain cycles. I don't know why half of my cards are having this issue. What is going on here? What is going on, Taurus? What is going on? All right, let's take a look. What is going on for Taurus's karmic situations, please? Of karma. And so take the karma, however it's resonating and however you're thinking about it, all right? For the month of March. For my Taurus. Sun, moon, and rising Venus and north node, please. What is going on for Taurus in love? Thank you, spirit. Let's take a look. Taurus for love please Taurus headspace thank you heart space actions and outcome okay so a little bit of calm conflict and chaos happening yeah it's being guided by a higher power you've got the serendipitous card here uh Taurus you've got the four which is the higher power. You've got exchanging gifts and you've got chaos and conflict here. You've got a 19, a four. So 19, sorry, a 19. You've got 18, which is a nine, four, another nine, and a three, three. You've got two nines coming for completion. You also have a three, three, which is chaos and conflict. We're going to talk about that's also Christ consciousness. What I'm getting here, Taurus, so far for your karma is that <clears throat> spirit is really... This is beautiful because this is one of my favorite cards in the deck is the serendipitous card. It's also the four leaf clover. It means that <clears throat> the universe here in your heart space, you being in your heart space and in the mind of allowing the faith to happen. Spirit is now working higher, higher force here with the serendipitous card. Okay is planning and organizing everything you have surrendered so the karma is sorting itself out in the ethers there's going to be an exchange of gifts here coming in march i was also feeling communication so there's something happening here in regards to this exchanging of gifts giving and, and taking giving and receiving i don't want to say taking but the outcome is that there's going to be massive change and that's going to cause chaos and conflict it also means that there, if you notice this giraffe, it's not a giraffe, it's a zebra with giraffe colors. It's like, you know, a mask or something is being removed in regards to, um, you know, your true self coming out. So that's really beautiful because something about your truest self is being revealed and because you're allowing the universe to do what it needs to do. So that that's how you're healing your karma for us, okay? You're... Um, understanding what is actually going on and you're in yourself and your mind and your heart connection that you're allowing here to just let it play out how it, spirit wants it to play out you're not fighting it anymore so let's take a look a little bit deeper into your karmic situation let's take a look and see what is going on this is for taurus sun moon and rising and venus and north node please spirit this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and North Node. Thank you. All right, let's take a look here. <clears throat> We've got the Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands in Reverse, Ten of Pentacles, the Sun. We have, clarifying that, we have the Wizard in Reverse, which is the Magician in my deck. We have Six of Wands Reverse, clarified by the Hangman Reverse, Ten of Pentacles, clarified by Strength in Reverse, and the Sun clarify by three of wands in reverse okay so what i'm getting here let's do these ones first but as i'm doing this i'm going to talk um you're really working hard you're focused you're focused on what you want to manifest for us you're not letting anything sway you even if things aren't manifesting the way that you desire right now you have given that up serendipity to spirit so Whatever karma, you're working on doing what you can in the mind. You've been healing it. You've been looking at your past patterns. You're like, yeah, I'm clearing it. I'm healing it. And if it's not manifesting, that's not my problem. That's spirit bringing it in the manifestation. I don't need to focus on why things aren't happening the way that I want to. You really come into a place of surrender. You're really allowing <coughs> the universe to really come through here. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know my throat with you guys. <clears throat> Spirit is saying where things have failed here in your karmic situations where you feel that you may have missed opportunities. Spirit has taken that 
in your karmic situations and is working out any missed opportunities where things have failed and is going to be working that out in your favor. There is going to be, I see a commitment. Um, there's, there's a lot of ego energy flying around right now. There wants to be an exchange that's going to happen in a deeper commitment in family. And, but this is also building something stronger. Some, and it's funny that the strength card is in reverse. I feel that's because there's just still a sorting out of energies that are happening before an exchange can happen in your karmic situation. Um, Spirit is taking that energy to balance it, to bring you a solid foundation. We're also seeing here, like with all this chaos and conflict, things, um, plans that were in the future are shifting now. You, there's no more waiting energy anymore. Something is definitely happening in March for you, Taurus, that there is massive illumination that's coming here and happiness out of chaos and conflict. <clears throat> Things are being revealed, okay? Things will be revealed to you in March, Taurus. Let's take a look. What is Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and North Node for Taurus? What is this for karmic energies for Taurus? Any karma that they're healing. Look at this, the end. You've given up to spirit. This is ending and new beginning. So yeah, and that's a nine. So that's really coming close to completion. And spirit's like, yeah, we got this. We got this, you know, higher power coming in, Taurus. Any missed opportunities? Look at this. This is with that community card. It could have been, you know, people around you, family, friends, um, whoever's around you in this community with this higher power. Spirit's sorting that out because it caused missed opportunities and things that failed because there were lots of other interferences. I'm seeing a lot of people interfering with your situations, um, with your life. You've been setting healthy boundaries. Like, no, 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 no. You can't come in here. This is four to higher power, bringing in that foundation, which I'm also seeing nine here with the stability 10 coming down with the 10 of pentacles. So spirit is dealing with the community. You don't got to worry about this. I, I mean, if anything, Taurus, I say to spirit, you know, please let me watch karma. Can I watch the karma? Like if you let me watch, I would be so grateful for that. Um, because when you get karmic justice, it's beautiful. And I think that's what spirit is working on for you is this karmic justice. Yeah, you've had concerns. We have another three, three here. We also have a 10 here. Okay, so endings, right? We have a 12, which is a three, but that's a four. But we have three, three, and a nine. So that's, again, going with the first part of the reading, you know, with the nine and the threes. And we have three, three here. Spirit is saying, your concerns about what's coming for you and an even give and take of an exchange for your foundation is to just keep settling your your ego and reeling that in and being grounded in the in your faith just a little bit more as this karma situation is sorting itself out be happy in yourself right now okay bad health don't let this chaos and conflict and the manifestation not showing up right now the energies are definitely playing in your favor <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, again, my throat. Look at that. <clears throat> I feel like there's a communication wanting to come through for you, Taurus. But this is like um, this bad health. I'm going to pull one more. You know, take care of yourself. Yeah, you've been working really hard. Don't, you know, that's an 11 here. There's illumination coming in your situation. It's not, don't wait around anymore. You've got to get into a, a place of grounding this the strength card when i created this is a very grounding energy <clears throat> and this energy is you know um being stable no matter what is coming to you so spirit is just saying the concern right now is just to reel it in a little bit more okay keep working on this in march okay let's clarify oh i wanted to do island time let's do island time just pull it in a little bit more taurus that's all you got to do just Pull it in a little bit more and um, you'll be good, okay? But I feel like whatever's going on with this karmic situation, it is and in spirit's got it. You just got to let it go a little bit more. Don't worry about the people that have been involved. Don't worry about, you know, when you're going to see something. It's coming. Spirit's working on it. You this, this working hard on this, I feel you can finally release the final last bit of it. Okay, this one fell on the ground, so we're going to take it. 
yeah, you're transforming. Your re relationship is evolving. Your love life is evolving to the next level. So just keep having faith in that. This community, spirits got it, okay? Yeah, look at this. You got the ascending card again. You're transcending and ascending beyond toxic energies, okay? Spirit is taking a hold of that and bringing karma to anybody that has paid you any injustice. Okay, we have here your concern about love. You've been hit by love. So love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting or hesitation. So don't worry about your concern about about this. It's coming, okay? Spirit is trying to give you some reassurance here. Okay, look at this. This is moving on from, you know, the narcissistic paradigm, people that aren't for your highest good, moving on, closing old issues, moving away from things that no longer serve you. It's causing some chaos and conflict, but don't worry about that. Again, spirit has got your back on this. Okay, let's clarify a little bit here. We've got, yeah, coming into alignment. The four of pentacles is also about, you know, um, head and heart alignment it's also being in full alignment so that you can manifest. So Spirit is saying you maintain this alignment, okay? Keep your energy close to things that don't serve you. You focus on that even if things aren't manifesting. Just know that things are evolving. Things are becoming very honest. You are going to see the truth in certain situations. Seven of Swords in reverse. Whatever has been missed and has failed you, Okay, Spirit is working on. There's a new contract that is brewing here for you to help you ascend, okay? Because things may not have gotten started in the past, okay? So this new beginning is coming in. It is not quite here. Spirit wants you to know, but the, when this comes in, it will be a new offer, okay? It's not ready. There's a new contract, a new offer being worked on for you. We have here... Yeah, slowly move towards healing and being more grounded, okay? Don't be so concerned. Love is evolving for you. Cycles are ending the world again. You are becoming illuminated. Spirit's not waiting on this anymore, okay? Look at this. Now you have the judgment upright. So yeah, you're having a renewal. Where you didn't have renewal before and you're walking away, you're going to have resurrection of yourself. Judgment with a king of pentacles. Look at that, all right? So... Yeah, really beautiful energy here. Um, yeah, somebody's waking up here and, and, and trapping themselves and wanting to give to this situation. So this is what's happening. Spirit wants you really in this month to just simply maintain your vibration. Okay, Taurus, maintain it, clean it up a little bit more. Keep trusting, even through the chaos and, and all of this stuff. Just know that you are very well protected, okay? Let's take a look, Taurus. You can ask your question. We're going to move to the question portion. Pick a card. So you can ask three questions for cards one, two, or three. Or you can choose one question and choose one out of the deck. Okay, so let's, let's see. We're going to use this deck here. That was a good reading, Taurus. What is going on for Taurus? Sun, moon, and rising, and Venus, and North Node Spirit. Pick a card, yes or no, please. This is for Taurus. Okay, guys, get your questions ready. Here we go. Taurus, card number one. Yeah, I want to do card number two, and card number three. All right, guys, let's take a look. You can pause this if you need to, to focus. Card number one, what is going on for Taurus? We have the moon. So things are hidden from you right now. It's not a yes or a no. The moon is not necessarily bad either, okay? The moon is also about things are hidden right now. And this goes along with your reading as well because there are things happening in the ethers, in the energy, and the moon is about intuition, right? So um, it's not just about fears and going through the dark. There's things that you can't see right now. So I feel it's a standstill. It's a maybe because you got to let go and let spirit handle that. Okay. Card number two, we have strength. I'm not reading these in reverse. So I'm taking the these upright. I'm taking that as a yes. Okay. That's also when you get into that strength place. Okay, Taurus. But I'm taking that as a yes. And card number three, Queen of Wands, I'm definitely taking that as a yes, okay? I'm taking that as something passionate and something ambitious and something really action-oriented. So I'm taking that as a definite yes. 
All right, Taurus, if you like that, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. It really helps my channel to grow. And I'm sending you guys so much love. If you want to know more about me, all that info is down below. I've got lots of blog posts and stuff on there too, so check it out. I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye, guys.